Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching today's video. If you are new here, welcome. Today I filmed a little surf with me so you guys can enjoy that before I go over and show you everything that I scored in the haul. We'll go over how much it cost me, how much I got, and all the details of what I plan to sell it for. So enjoy this thrift with me. First item is a Adidas backpack. This was the first thing I scored when I walked in. They were bringing out new bins, so I was like, oh, I'll just look in the one be behind it. And I managed to find that, so that was a good sign. Then I found this pink uh, Nike sports bra. That was definitely a take home. And then I found another Nike sports bra next to it. And then I found these boots. These are a designer boot. I cannot wait to show you this during my haul, so stick around to see that. And then I definitely dug through the shoes a little bit more because like I've said before, shoes are such a bang for your buck at the bins. And that's why the shoe people are so crazy. If you've never been before, then you might not know what I'm talking about, but shoe people are a different breed of people at the bins. <laughs> So here I'm just showing a couple things that I grabbed off camera because sometimes it's easier to grab things at the bins when you don't have a camera in your other hand so you have two hands. Here are a pair of Skechers tie-dye shoes. Love these for summer. Here are a pair of Ralph Lauren denim cutoff shorts. And then I am back over where I found that uh, Dale of Norway sweater trying to see if there's anything else around it that's worth value because sometimes you can find little pockets of gems especially if they're donated from a single person you'll find multiple really good items um i think this was just a bunch of goodwill store donations so that means it came from a goodwill store and then it went to the bins or the outlet which is like the last chance and then it gets shipped off to like i don't know africa or something like that don't quote me on that one I thought maybe it was going to be a good bike brand. Sometimes it, you can find really good um, bicycle bicycling gear that other people don't know about that you can sell for a ton of money. But this one was like some just cheap one. And then I'm just looking through all the stuff. I find so many of these canvases shirts at the Goodwill bins and I usually never pick them up. I did in the past and then I just had a terrible time selling them and it just didn't work for me. So now if I see them, I look more at the graphic to see if the graphic would blow me out of the water. Other than that, I pretty much leave them. And then here's this silky dress. It's Camille Morgan. I ended up not picking this up because it just didn't look like it had a very flattering shape and I didn't know if it was a skirt or strapless dress and I just did not feel like dealing with it. So I left that. And then lots more junk. A pair of loft jeans, didn't take them home. This is a divided H&M, left it. And then a wild fable uh, left that too. It was just a nice sweatshirt, but it's just like, it's not worth the money to pick some of these up. So I just left it. A pair of dress pants that were Lane Bryant. And then this is my favorite thing to do. So if you can look in the background, you'll see a lady. She is sorting through her cart and then dumping the stuff back into the bin. This is my favorite thing to do because the person did all the hard work for you and sometimes they'll leave really nice items and for whatever reason they decide not to take it home or I don't I don't know if they're reselling, they take it home to their family, whatnot. So I'm like a little raccoon, a little trash raccoon going through their items and I absolutely love doing this. So I'm just waiting patiently while she throws it in like we'll go over when she's done and sort through all that stuff. And then one solo Ugg slipper I, I threw back very sadly. All right guys, I um, hope you enjoyed my thrift with me. Now I'm gonna go over everything that I got to bring home to sell on Poshmark and eBay. Maybe a couple items will go to Plato's Closet, but um, in total I spent $66.56. 
I brought home a total of 49 items. I brought home some cups and mugs that are a set and I'm just including those as one item because I'm gonna be selling them together. So it breaks down to be about a dollar 35 per item or like per set as I'm selling it. Uh, let's get into it. The first item is Title Nine. I've scored this brand before at the Goodwill Outlet. So this is a kind of, I would say higher mid tier athletic women's brand. So always pick this up if you can. This is the logo if you ever see it. So it's just a navy basic tee. I'm gonna be selling this for about $25, $20. So this is a good brand to pick up. People do like it. They retail, I would say the dresses are probably more profitable than the t-shirts because the dresses retail for about 85 to 100 plus. So when you're reselling them, you can list them for about like 30, 50, anywhere between there and they'll sell. So this is just gonna be 25 though, because this is a basic tee and I think this like retailed for only about $30. And then this is the next one I picked up. This was the logo. There's no name brand on this shirt, just the logo but from like the feel of it it feels like a high quality athletic wear that's why i picked it up and took it home and then i figured out the name of this brand is born primitive and it's actually a pretty decent like selling brand usually their workout tops sell for about 25 dollars to 20 which is i think is pretty good for a workout brand so this is just what it looks like it's a pink heathered and then it has an open back type detail this one is a size large and i'll be listing this from for 25. so the next thing i picked up is this nathan vapor core four liter here is the logo right here so nathan so this is a running hydration vest or hiking hydration vest normally these come with little water bottles right here and they have straws so like when you're running or hiking you can grab the straw or whatnot and then it also has the back where you can put an additional bladder and these normally retail for like a hundred and something dollars so i still picked this up and i am going to list it for 55 dollars then i picked up this nike air um, black sports bra i picked this up just because it had the really cool crisscross detail in the front and then on the back this is a size extra small and I'll be listing this for $22. Then I also found these North Face Boots Thermoball Winter Snow Boots. These are a size eight, really gently worn, and I'll be listing these for $65. Next, I found these Michael Kors. They do have a little bit of wear on them. You can kind of see like the, there's like a little bit of discoloration on the suede. So these are a suede leather in like a rust orange color. And then these are a size eight. Other than the discoloration, they're in really good shape. I think they are very kind of trendy color right now as well. And they have the block chunky heel and then they have gold accent kind of making them look a little more expensive. So I will be listing these for $69. Here are a pair of Skechers Lux Foam Sandals. I picked these up to take to Plato's Closet because I loved the tie-dye on it. And so I thought this was a super cool feature. And so I'm gonna take these to Plato's Closet because they didn't retail for very much and they don't resell for very much either. So that's um, Plato's Closet for these. Okay, this next one is a kind of fun boot. It was, um, so these are called Ospava. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, they're size 40. But this is a Turkish boot. And so I looked these up on, and there are not very many on the market. But what I think is really cool is it's like, they're all embroidered. So like super stunning hand embroidered boots, which are amazing. And they're like a pointed toe. The only thing is they're, I can't tell if it's the design or if it got like sun bleached. Um, because it looks a little bit lighter here on the front and then it kind of goes up, but it looks the same on both. So I'm thinking it was sun bleached, but it does leave a cool effect. So I'm going to list these for $50. I think other people have listed them for like a hundred and something and they've sold at that price. But since there's kind of that discoloration, I think I'm going to go with 50. Then I picked up these, uh, crown by born. These are a gray leather knee high boot with a little bit of a heel to them. And then they have a contrasting black detail in the back. 
Um, I got too excited and I just threw these in my cart and I didn't really look and I missed this little flaw right here, right there. So not the end of the world because it is on the heel and it's, it is on, oh, it's on the outside. These are a size eight. I'm going to be listing these for $50 as well. Another thing I picked up is another pair of shoes. These are the Merrill boots. I did pick these up even though I did notice this flaw. It's missing the little like cap covers on a couple of them. But these look like a motorcycle boot. And I believe that's what they are. So I knew that the, these would be worth a little bit more money because they're like performance boots. That's why I picked these up and they're in really good condition on the soles. I'm going to be listing these for about $45. And then these are a size nine. Then I found this Adidas pink suede hat and it's really cute pink color. Um, it's a climate white hat and then it had just a tiny bit of makeup staining on the inside, not the end of the world. I will be listing this for $15. I picked up a pink Nike sports bra. I picked this one up because it is kind of like, not just like a basic design. It has the built-in cups. It has a V-neck with the just do it on the front. And then it has the crisscross back. Mainly I picked it up just for the color because it is a pink color. So I thought that would help it sell better. It's a size small and I'm going to be just listing it for $12. Here is a Synergy. You guys can see that. This is an organic clothing line. So I do love to pick this up just because it is organic clothing. I'm like a pretty basic dress. It's sleeveless and then it has the side ruching and it's kind of like a bodycon. So this is a size extra large and I'm going to list this for only $25. Brandy Melville cropped polo long sleeve shirt. I will be taking this to Plato's closet because I don't sell Brandy Melville very well. I know some people do. I just, just sits forever for me. So I'll take this to Play-Doh's. It is very like heavyweight, so I don't know if they're gonna take it. I might have to hold on to it till next fall or winter to get rid of it, but I'll attempt to take it to them. And then I also picked up this vintage Margaret for Long. It's a sun shell. I knew this was vintage right away just because this is what my mom put on her Christmas tree during, when I was a kid, so I instantly knew this brand. But if you do look on the box, it does say like 1993 on the bottom. If you guys don't know what it is, it's a porcelain decoration, uh, mainly for your Christmas tree. This is what it looks like. I don't want to take it out because I'm afraid I'm going to break it. So lightweight, so totally worth it. A lot of times these sell for about $20, $25. So I'm going to list this for $25. Then I found this Hugo Boss New With Tags tie, 100% silk, and then it just has this kind of like purple kind of textured design on it. It's, I'm gonna list this for 48. I was very surprised to find these in the bins. I did a go around around the bins and I ended up finding a distressed olive green Sorel wedges. These ones are a size seven and a half, so great size. I will be listing these for 167. Oh, and then the one flaw on them is it was missing just the little garnet, I guess you would say, in the back. So very, very minor. Um, I could not resist picking these up. So these are Sam Edelman and they are a wooden platform heel. I just felt like these were very like 70s. Honestly, I feel like Jackie from that 70s show would be wearing these with a pair of like bell bottom jeans. So totally obsessed with these. These ones are a size nine. So I'll be listing these ones for $36. This is the first thing I found when I got to the bins as I was waiting, a new bin was coming out. So I pulled up and then I started looking in the bin behind me and I found this sitting there, this gorgeous little Adidas bag, kind of a cool bag. It has a strap on the inside right here. And you can wear this three different ways. So it becomes a backpack, a purse, or like a crossbody. Super cool. And it's in like their red color. We'll be listing this for $60. I was super pumped to find these. They had insoles in them. I took them out. So you couldn't see that it said Isabel Marit. And I think that's why no one picked these up. All it had was made in France on the bottom. Honestly, I picked these up because I was like, ooh, a red boot, cute, that will sell. And I saw the made in France and I was like, oh, these are good. And then I looked inside and I was like, oh, it has an insole. And then later on I went and I picked up the insole and I saw Isabel Morin and I about lost my mind because that's my first time finding her at the bins and she's been on my bolo list to find. So I'm very, very thrilled about that. 
so here are these little booties with an almond toe kind of western style very very cute they're in size 40 so i think that's like a size 9 i think i think i'm gonna be listing these for about like 75 and i'm very excited about this find my first time i decided to pick up these marisi kind of like birkenstock wannabe fuzzy sandals so these ones are a size 9 i figured i'd probably take them to Plato's closet, but I think I'm just gonna list them on my Poshmark for about $15. I scored so many shoes this time. But then here are a pair of Vince Camuto red suede booties with the chunky block heel. And then they have the rounded almond toe. These are a size seven and a half, and then there's like no flaws to them whatsoever. So of course I could not resist picking these up. And then I will be listing these for $48. Bowden dress, it is a size 12R. And this is just like a nice summer dress, nice light. It has an empire waist and it has these kind of like pebble style polka dots on it and it's fully lined. I'll be listing this one for $28. These little Le Creuset, that's French so I know I'm butchering it. I found four of them in different colors. So I found a little navy one, a kind of teal one, pink and yellow. They're like little espresso shot glasses. They're 3.3 ounces. So adorable. So for all four of them, I'm gonna be listing them for $60. And then I found another one of the La Croze. This is like a mug. It's kind of that teal Tiffany blueish color with an ombre effect. This one has a flared lip to it. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that means it's from Ikea. To be honest, if you know, can you comment? Because I've seen some people that you can tell they're supposed to be from Ikea, so I don't know if that means it was at Ikea. I'll figure out what this is. So just a single cup, three more, but they're different than that last one. So there's a pink, a yellow, another pink. So I'll be selling those three as a bundle as well. I think the pink and the yellow are actually a pretty rare color. So I was thinking I'm gonna list these maybe for like 50, maybe 30. And then the single cup, I think I might just do 15 for it. Nike dry fit size medium. This is the Nike Versa long sleeve. Um, so it has the split side hem and it's kind of a high low design. And then it has a pocket on the sleeve as well. I'll be listing this for $33. Nike Pro Combat, these are kids size medium the back and i just really like the color of them they're kind of a teal color with a bright bright orange and they are i believe compression leggings these i'm only selling for like 13 dollars piranha size large these are like a pair of yoga jogger pants i would say and it has like kind of like a toupee gray design going on these i'm going to be listing for 28 dollars then i also picked up a kids columbia size medium 10 12. This I picked up because it is an Omni Heat, so it's like a base layer black t-shirt. So I'll be listing this for $18. This Nike Gray Heather, it's actually an organic cotton, well, semi-organic cotton and recycled polyester. So I thought, I didn't know Nike did that. So I picked this up. It is a lightweight, kind of like summer, spring jacket. I'm doing this for 25 and it is a size medium. Here are these platform wedges and then it has like this stretchy elastic black mesh on it. Uh, these are a size eight. I'm definitely gonna keep these for a little bit because I tried them on and they're very, very comfy. And then when you wear it with like a dress, you look like you're dressed up, even though you're not. So I might keep these for a little bit, then take them to Play-Dohs eventually. Kids Birkenstocks, they're kind of like metallic-y, pinkish, tan color. I got those scuffs off of it. If you saw it, watch the thrift with me with just in a magic erase marker, they came right off, no issues. I'm gonna list these for 25. These are a little kid size 31. So 200 is the length it says. Found these massive Fila shoes. Um, just need to take a magic eraser to it. But they had a bunch of like peeling, piling. You can see that all on the inside. So I just took my clothing shaver on the inside of this one and got it out. So I'll do the same thing to this one. These are gonna go to Play-Dohs. I found this Madewell size small white knit. It had tons and tons and tons of peeling on it or like just like the like fabric pulling up. 
can still kind of like in a couple of the areas but not as bad honestly i just took a shaver to it and it came off and then hand pulled it myself really really soft sweater though um i think i'm gonna be listing this for 30 dollars. i figured since summer's coming around again cowboy boots are gonna be trending again so i picked up these durango women's boots they do have some wear to them i think i can wash them and make them look better heel has a little bit of wear some of the piping has some missing spots on it but these are women's 11 inch western brown tan boots they are size six and a half depending on how good of condition i let get them in i'll see what i'm going to list them for which then leads me to my next item i grab these adidas size large navy blue yoga pants or workout leggings whatever you want to call them they have a little bit of mesh detail on them on like the back right there and then like some sheen to them and on the bottom as well i was just gonna take these to play-dohs i feel like these don't look good in photographs so they're gonna sit longer so i'm gonna take them to play-dohs hopefully they buy them so i can just get rid of them here are a pair of ralph lauren jean company these are size six these are some cut off black shorts i'm pretty sure someone hand made these i'm gonna take it in play-dohs and see if they'll take them I kind of wish I didn't grab these, but that's okay. But yeah, uh, the reason I picked them up too is just because I thought the logo on the butt was kind of trendy, Lauren Ralph. So hopefully they'll take it. It's kind of like an antique wash. I think they're high rise, we'll see. I found another horny toad. This is a size large. This is a, another kind of basic dress. It looks like it's a three, four sleeve, and then it's just a kind of shift dress and then it was organic cotton as well so i'll be listing this one for 29. this was kind of a fun one debated on getting it ended up getting it so this is a woman's like running speed suit it's new with tags it's nike it's a size small um i listed it for 50. i was doing some research on speed suits and these can sell for a ton depending on the design you get which i thought was really cool so i mean don't discard speed suits i'm the like a us olympic ones were like selling for like hundreds of dollars and i was like i didn't know that so learned something new picked up a new item gonna sell it for 50. here is a black nike swoosh sports bra it has no padding to it and i'll be listing this one for 18 and this one is a size small and it's just your basic razor back sports bra levi's perfect waist 525 straight leg jeans in a black color I'm only gonna list these for 25. They look like they're in really good condition, barely worn. And then they have the back pockets with butt flaps to make your butt look bigger, more perky. So that's the trick with that. And then these are a size 10 medium. Polo Ralph Lauren estate rib size large. It's a men's pullover with a one fourth zip. Really like the color. And then it has this brown contrasting detail on the zipper, which I really liked. And then on the actual zipper, it's kind of like an actual like suede leather, I'm gonna say. And it says polo and it has the little polo guy right there. This I'm gonna list for 25. Then I picked up this Dutch Harbor size large. It's a rain jacket. This is like 100% nylon, seam sealed, heavy duty, crabbing, fishing, I don't know, boat jacket, super heavy duty, Dutch Harbor girl, Dutch Harbor gear. Uh, this I will be listing on eBay. It's an Adidas extra large and a T and it has an Adidas graphic or embroidered thing on there. So just a very simple tee. I might list this for $18. I picked up this Hurley size medium, just a basic men's jacket. I'll list this for 25. Then I picked up this Nike hoodie. It's a size small. It definitely needs some work. So I'm either going to try to get this all clean and not looking so nasty, or what I wanna start doing is try doing like a reconstruction to close. So I might just keep this to do some type of reconstruction because it has some really cool designs on it that I think if I took and put on another sweatshirt or something could look really cool. Or I was thinking maybe like putting a black sweatshirt on this that I have on the pocket for contrast because that's where kind of all the dirt is. I'm gonna see what I can do with this. So I'm gonna have some fun with that. I found a little Yeti koozie. 
I think no one picked this up because they thought I was missing the lid, but it actually just twists off like this and then you put your can on the inside and it keeps it cold. And then it has the Yeti sign and the Yeti sticker on it. Uh, I'll probably just list this for $18. And then I also did a little thing outside my comfort zone. I went and shopped the hard goods section when they brought out the new bins. And I usually never do that, but I'm very happy I did because I ended up finding this adorable vintage Japanese cast iron tea kettle. And then it has the actual like mesh lining on the inside. It honestly boils about like two cups of water. So heavy duty. I was honestly gonna sell this, but I think I'm just gonna keep it because the cast iron is so good. If eventually I do decide to sell it, it's probably gonna be selling for about like 50 bucks. So that was a fun one to find. Then I also picked up this little dish. This is a vintage Hutchin, Hutch, Hutchiners? I don't know, Barbarian. And then it has all the florals. Um, this is like a little sugar. It should go with like a whole tea set. So I'm only gonna list this for 25. It did have teeny tiny flaw um, on the lid. The little flower is missing a little bit of color, but still I think this would look really cute on someone's counter who's into this type of like design. I found this beauty right here. I was standing next to some lady and I was like, please don't take it. <laughs> She's like, She's very chatty. So I found this glass vase. It just says made in China. It doesn't have a brand on the bottom, but I need to figure out how much to list this for. Yeah, and then it's kind of like lopsided too, so it'll make the flowers hang out at an angle. I'm thinking 75. I have no idea with hard goods, so I'll definitely have to work on my pricing and like learning the pricing for hard goods. Okay. I believe that's everything from my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit the like button on my video. My camera just died too. So <laughs> please hit the like button. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe as well. And I will see you guys later.